Vista police are giving drivers a fair warning. Don't drive drunk. Officers will be setting up checkpoints like this all weekend long to be able to stop anyone they suspect could be under the influence. An effort they believe can save lives. All right, thank you. No alcohol tonight. You might want to think twice if you're planning to get behind the wheel after drinking. There's no reason to put yourself in that situation. According to AAA, 3.3 million Southern Californians will travel for Memorial Day weekend. The roadways become severely impacted. There's obviously more cars on the road. With more people out on the roads, Sergeant Matt Colson says it's imperative that people make the right decision. We just caution those people, if you are going to be drinking again, try to find something, another way to get down to where you're trying to go other than driving your vehicle. California ranks second in the country for highest number of Memorial Day traffic fatalities over the past decade. The deadliest day of the holiday weekend overall is Saturday. The deadliest hours are between 6 p.m. and 3 a.m. And if you're impaired and your reaction time slow down or you don't see the green light or the red light, uh, you run through that stop sign, it could have severe, severe consequences later on down the road. On our way to the checkpoint, we spotted a car engulfed in flames on Highway 54. Shortly after first responders put the flames out, we saw police officers perform performing a field sobriety test on the driver who was seen unable to walk in a straight line. Sergeant Colson says officers will show zero tolerance for anyone driving under the influence. If people recognize that we are going to be out here in force and it is a zero tolerance, it might make people think twice about getting behind the wheel if they've been drinking a little too much. Ursia de la Fe, CBS 8.